Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Jay, aka Herc213, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And as you guys can see, you're probably wondering what's going on with my mood. And I just really want to have another honest talk with you guys too, just really, really addressing this important issue that I really want to share. And this is really regarding to race, and I'm really going to go there today. And just like, you know, I may offend, well, my, well, this, for this video, I am not insulting anyone whatsoever regarding of class, gender, um, race, or sexual, sexual orientation. That is not my intention with this video whatsoever. So I really want to disclose that again for this video. If you guys did not understand that. But I really want to address something that's really been bothering me now too. And it just bothered me unexpectedly. And just I really want to talk about being an honest black, honest, honest talk about being a black man in America too. Because today I uh, just saw a live stream today too from a really um, content creator that I know. She's I say she uh, she's really good at what she does. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna shame her whatsoever. And just like. Uh, she has a live stream today too. Um, just like we uh, talking about, you know, it was like a some kind of apology, you know, video and healing apology and healing video, apologizing to you know a certain race of people, you know, uh, my people, black people, and you know people of color especially. I, I say people of color. I don't scratch that. Um, African Americans, you know, in this country, and really she did a video about that too. Uh, well, we didn't say a video, but uh, she did a live stream about that too. Wanted to uh, just wanted to apologize and just you know, or and do some healing about you know how you know their ancestors, uh, what they did to us, our, uh, my people especially, and just like you know, I was just listening, just really listening to it, you know, just looking at it from a different perspective as a black man too. I was kind of really upset about it, and just like let me hear hear me out on this, because you know, just like you know, with this topic and this issue, talking about race is very very sensitive, and just like we have, and this I'll say this as you know, a black man in America, you know, I'm 33 years old, I'm not a kid anymore, I'm a grown ass man, and you know, my parents raised me to be you know a. Uh, Really good person, honor people where they are, respect them who they are too, and just treat them how I want to be treated with respect, you know, and you know, respect and kindness and so on and so forth. My parents, both my mom, <clears throat> my mother, my mom, and my dad raised me to be this way, raised me and my sister that way actually, and I'll never, even a million years, you know, put someone down or just you know. And bash them, you know. I would, and I want people to stop me from doing that too. But I really want to address the issue. What's just like about this certain kind of topic of you know black issues, because you know, don't get me wrong with this person. She had the good intentions, but you know what I say about you know what I really want to address is just like why then you know uh, invite more. Um, ethnicities onto that stream, you know, like, you know, African Americans who are in part of the spiritual community and the wellness community. And not just speaking more than, just, well, I can speak more than just my, I can speak, uh, how can we scratch that? I, I'm just going to speak more about myself too, and not just not me all about myself, but I could say this, you know, and as a content creator, and especially as a man too, you know, having a platform, I can really reach out to people to get my message across and help them out too. And I just like, it's important. I just really want to address how important it is to really make, give people a voice and not to let, you know, sugarcoat anything and just, you know, let people, and just, uh, how can I say this? Um, like not sugarcoat anything and just sweep, put things under a healing kind of vibe or anything like that too. Just like doing those kind of spiritual pipe ass kind of bullshit. And excuse my language, I'm just gonna say it bullshit. You know, because, you know, when we do that still, and especially if we have good intentions in mind, we still haven't learned yet. 
we, especially for, you know, as content creators in the spiritual and wellness community, it's important for all, it's important to let people have a voice. If you, if you have 10 subscribers, 20 subscribers, 100, 1,000, the numbers don't matter. It's just like if you have a platform and you have a voice and you can really just really allow people to really share their experience, their voice, and share some lessons on how we can heal, that's totally important. And I believe that, you know, uh, we should strive to, we should still, we have a lot of work to do to do that. And just because, like, um, with this live stream, these live streams I saw, um, I was just really taken back by it. It's just like, you know, why did this, uh, why didn't, like, you know, other content creators who are, you know, my ethnicity were on the panel? How come they weren't invited? I was just really blown back about that. That's not right. You know, and just like, you know, I, I'm not speaking more, and again, it's just like I'm not bashing anyone whatsoever. And most people probably think I am, so beat it. You know, I'm probably getting some fucking flack from this, you know. And, you know, I'm not, because I could take the, I could take the criticisms, I could take the smoke. And just like, you know, with this issue, and I'm really going to speak up about this too. And just like, you know, it's important for, uh, for all content creators, whether they're, they're white, black, whatever how you identify even if they're alien i just say that too and just like it's important for us to really uh really have make people have a voice and share their experience you know because if i organize something like this too i'll take the time to really invite people of you know african americans you know you know other ethnicities too you know black culture too and really just invite them to really share their stories their experiences and really make them get a voice, even if they have like 10 subscribers or 20 uh, subscribers too, because I believe that's totally important, you know? And, you know, with these live streams I saw too, it was just like, I was taken back by it. I just didn't want to believe it, but it was true. It was right in my face watching this. And just like, you know, I was just taken back by it. It's just like, wow, like, how come you didn't invite, you know, other people of color in the spiritual and wellness community into that platform it's like shouldn't their voices be heard too should do, do they what vo their voices matter and i believe their voices matter you know and I, i'm not trying to speak like for uh for all of them i mean well like i say this i mean i just want to really address how important that is to really let people have a voice you know and it's just like now i sound like i'm whining like a little bitch it's just like uh it's just like I really want to address how important it is to really make people have a voice and share their stories, you know, what they went through and what and how did it, how those effects, you know, those things affect their families and their lives too, especially as African, African Americans, you know, and, you know, because, you know, we get a lot of shit every day. We have to bite our tongue and I, 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 I'm doing it again. Like I'll say like from my experience, uh, forgive me about the last part it's just like i always have to bite my tongue what i have to say because if i say something i really want to get off my chest i might get canceled i might get exercised or even all both you know and just like you know for most people who know me it probably never seen a side of me before is because i always try to hold it in you know and i always trying to be real with you but and i always like to be honest with you guys too and this is like my true self like my my feelings coming out about this uh honest uh being a black man too i guess you share my own experience i the one that um i don't it like just like you know if i speak for everyone i feel like that's you know wrong i like to let people share their story you know share their experience and share and just like share how, what's important you know in general and just like I, i'm not probably going in circles about this too i was really meditating what i was going to say it's just like you know being a black man in america it's 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 i can't even put in the words it's it's a it's a damn journey i'll say that and just like i speak for myself it's just like you know i have to bite my tongue people look at me as a fetish you know sometimes okay i fall fun in games that's cool you know but most people We'll probably be disgusted about it, disgusted about it too. And just like, you know, um, 
you know, I dealt with racism in high school and I had to bite my tongue. Like, you know, there's a lot of kids I wanted to knock them the hell out because, you know, they say some racist shit about my hair, you know, microphone, all that bullshit. And just like, you know, certain people clench their purses when I'm shopping, being asked if I'm okay. And just, you know, I was like, whenever I'm fine and just like, you want those kind of stuff every single day. And just like, you know, I'm not trying to play the victim here. I'm just really just um, speaking my experience. And just like, um, how can I say? It's it's just like, you know, I'll say this, you know, as a, I'm, I'll say this, I, I'm proud of where I'm coming from as a black man, you know, or how I was raised by my parents, my family, you know, even though we have our ups and downs, I still love them dearly. You know, and just like, especially with my mother too, God bless her soul. And I feel like she's with me right now too, making this video because she, I felt her energy really want me to express this porn topic, you know, sharing, sharing my own experience, you know, and just, you know, addressing these important messages. And just like, you know, with this, uh, with this issue, I mean, being a black man in America, it's just like, it's not easy, you know, I have to really, you know, you know, I say work, I know work is four times as hard and just had to prove myself all the time, and especially as a content creator too. I was trying to, I'm still reaching a goal to make a thousand subscribers, you know, because like with my channel, with my platform, I let people have a voice. I, even on my Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays live, and Saturdays live streams, I like to connect with people. I like to, you know, do Oracle cards, you know, connect with spirit, you know, all about that stuff, you know, the spiritual and wellness community. I'm totally 100% pure in it, committed about it too for life. I'm totally 100% about that too. And, you know, I'm not going to, I'm still, um, even with my yoga practice, I'm practicing the uh, ways of non-harm, not harming anyone with my voice, with my, uh, with my body, especially with my uh, spirit too, because I will never do that. And I'm still practicing, you know, practicing non-harm with my yoga practice. And, but I really have to really, as a content creator, address this issue that is important for let, to let people have a voice and to really let them know, to invite them to really address these kind of powerful issues. Because if you just, you know, do this out of the whim and just, you know, out of the blue and not in, not just, you know, invite people on who, who've been through this kind of stuff as African-Americans, you know, not informing them and let them have a voice. That's totally wrong. And I'm going to say that, you know, and it's just like, you know, it's just baffles me. It's, it's, it's just crazy. It's really fucking crazy. And just like, you know, people are probably wondering, you know, oh, Jay, what the hell are you, are you talking like this too? And just like, you know, like, hey, I'm just really addressing these issues, getting some stuff off my chest, you know, this honest talk video, because I like, I'm transparent, but I'm very sincere. You know, I'm just, I'm raw, I'm, well, let's see, I'm raw, transparent, authentic. You know, I don't beat around the bush, I tell it like it is. And if it hurts you, then I'm sorry, you know, but I, my intention was not to hurt you, it's just to address these important issues. And especially as a black man too, I am totally, 100% proud of who I am, even with my looks too. I, whatsoever, I love my hair, love my eyes, love my skin tone, love everything about who I am. My teeth, especially, you know, my body, my spirit, who I was, who raised me, where my family's, where I come from. I'm pro totally proud of that. And I always will be until the day I die, you know? And just like, you know, and I honor people who truly embrace who they are too, as you know, where they're coming from, whether they're Asian, white, Hispanic, you name it, even if they're gay too, bisexual, so on and so forth. You know, I totally respect that and honor that. And and, and that's like I always admire people who really are just, you know, doesn't don't really uh who I always honor people who really give them a voice and just, you know. Let them speak their truth, their stories. Let them share their stories about what they went through and what they experienced. You know, I always totally admire that people. And, you know, I totally will always, they always have, and I'll say this as a content creator, they always have a space on my channel to come and talk to me, 
guess what's going on, talk about certain issues, and really have a good time and educate, you know, at the same time. That's like what my platform is all about too. And I always will do this, even if I have a, a thousand, like 300 subscribers, a thousand subscribers, 10,000, 100,000, million, et cetera. And I want all my audience to need to hold me accountable too, because, you know, I make mistakes. I fuck up, you know, I sometimes I talk shit, you know, and just like, you know, as a black man too, but I, but I always have a uh, mindfully know to really catch myself doing that, you know, because I like, it's just like, you know, I will never bash anyone and just like put them down. You know, I'll never talk bad about black women, white women, uh, et cetera. You know, I'll never do that. And I'll be rather, I'll never do that. You know, that makes me sick to just, you know, do that to bash women and black women and white women and people in general, because we're all, we all have talents and we all bring something to the table on this planet. We all have a purpose in life. And it's, I believe it's important for us to really find out what it is, you know, whether it be like, you know, saying, you know, sh talking about, you know, Oracle decks, kind of like this, these bad boys here too, with the gods and titans and goddesses and sirens. That's just like an example, or even just like with their yoga practice too. They love to share their yoga practice and they love to help people ground it, share a beautiful practice of self-care where they can move the energy around and you can help calm their mind, connect with their heart. And that's totally beautiful. And even if people who love to talk about authentic relating where they could just teach about how they can really relate to people, how they can solve issues in a mindful way, how to really have intimate conversations. They have a place on my channel too, literally. And just like to do things out of the wind, the last minute, not um, uh, just say doing it, you know, just so rushing things on an important topic, important and sensitive uh, topics such as, you know, black, uh, black issues, it's just like you have to be planned carefully, you know, even if you have the best intentions at heart, it's just totally cool, but you have to really be more mindful of it to really plan this out, to really invite people to, you know, give them a voice where they have 10 subscribers, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, you name it, give them a voice, you know? And just like, you know, and just like it's important for all content creators, you know, just to really strive for good. And just like, oh, I, I don't know. It's like, I just kind of got a lot of stuff off my chest about it. And just like, I just believe it's important for us to really just, you know, give people a voice, you know, plan things out do better, you know, not just like more than just apologies. Apologies are okay, but you know, that has to be more than just apologies. It's have to be, you know, integrated with actions. What can we do to make people give them a voice that share their stories? You know, because when we share stories, it's really have a powerful impact within all of us. And it really can inspire us to really share our, our stories to other people. And we can really bring some beautiful change into this world. You know, like Michael Jackson said, you know, take a look at yourself and make the change, you know, and you want to be the stereotype still, or you want to just, you know, and continue this kind of crazy kind of cycle. You want to be, you want to see the, be the change that you want to see in the world. You know, that's what I love about Michael Jackson. He kept it real and people gave him some shit about it too. Call him a child molester and all that. I don't, I don't say child molester, excuse me for saying that. I call him or want those kind of things too, you know, and just like, you know, it's just, you know, Michael Jackson, like, you know, brilliant man, always changed, and he was just like, you know, inspired by the great, late, great James Brown. He just like studied that man for years and idolized him too. You could guys look at up on YouTube, you know, James Brown and Michael Jackson, you t t totally, totally worth it. And just like, you know, even James Brown talked about this too, you know, Black America, you know, we can be more than just a stereotype, you know, and we can be more than just that. We can be the best version of ourselves. We can be, oh, we can be so much more, you know, and especially, you know, 
like you know other people too and just like uh thank you i'm oh, sorry but oh, my computer just went to sleep um it's just like you know michael and james brown really believed that we can be the best versions of ourselves and they see a lot of good in people even if they made mistakes you know of course you know we're human michael was human james brown was human they all made mistakes and they we're accountable for it too. It's just like, you know, with Michael and James Brown and we even Chadwick Boseman too. He was a good, another one, the great uh, Chadwick Boseman, the Black Panther. You know, I always call him that because he was a really inspirational uh, man who just uh, shared an image and, you know, being a positive and powerful role model for not only just for black kids, the black people, but you know, for everybody, you know, and just like, I, I really honor those kind of people, you know, they inspire me to really be better. And even Dwayne Johnson and him too, you know, the people's champ, the rock, you know, the vendor of SmackDown, he invented that word SmackDown, you know, believe it or not, if you could you know, look that up too, you know, the, the show SmackDown, you know, it was from his vocabulary and his promos, he literally created that show and created that word. You know, you can look it up in the dictionary. It's totally mind blowing. And just like with Dwayne Johnson, you know, he honors where he's coming from as a black man. And even this, like a mix, mix, uh, mixed person, uh, his other culture too in Hawaii. That's totally beautiful. I, I love that about him. He honors where he's from. He, especially with his dad too, like Rocky Johnson. And just like, you know, and he's one of my other, you know, idols who, <clears throat> Just, you know, that I really admire too, The Rock, because he, he's just like, he's the people's champ, you know? He just keeps it real, he's sincere, he helps people, and he's entertaining. You know, I always kind of get that kind of entertaining uh, aspect of him too. I always try to, not try to copy him, but I always just like, how can I mix this up in my own way too, you know? So yeah, The, the Rock, he's the GOAT, you know? And just like, you know, with other, you know, like public figures, you like The Undertaker, Mark Calloway, you know, he's a white dude. And he's just like, you know, he worked with a lot of people of color too. You know, he, with Rikishi, and I can't speak for him too, but I just saying this as a fan of The Undertaker. I seen him in person, you know, performing and he is, he is the GOAT. He's, he loves to work with people. He loves to, you know, with matches and bring people memories and, memorable moments of, in wrestling too. And it's just like, you know, he didn't have a problem working with people like, you know, The, the Rock, Rikishi, Mark Henry, uh, Greg Kali, oh, who, who else? Viscera, Big V, rest in peace. Um, who else, who else? There's a lot of other people you work with too, you know? I'm just speaking as a fan. I can't speak for the man, too. I'll totally be wrong for a speak to, uh, for anyone. I'm just saying this as a fan's perspective. You know, seeing him perform and seeing, you know, the work that he's done, it's amazing because he just loves to give for just, like, the wrestling business, but for, you know, for all of us, you know, the fans, whether they're black, white, etc. You know, I love those kind of public figures and content creators who do that. You know, and I just want to share too again, just sharing this, share a little bit more before I end this video. It's just like it's important for us to really give people a voice, you know, whether they have 10 subscribers, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, or even a thousand, you know, every voice matters, you know. And just like with my platform, I will do my best to really just make people have that voice, you know, not to rush things, to start things, you know really plan things out, you know, speak with people, you know, that's cool with it too. And just like, you know, really, you know, give people a voice, you know, just invite them on, you know, let them know they're part of the community, not just saying it, you know, with their, you know, their words, even though words are important, just saying it with their actions, you know, invite them on, send them links, you know, um, share articles about how they can prove their health, you know, how they can heal from past trauma, how can 
referring to other people who have services that could really benefit them. You know, sharing those links, collaboration, you know, not just nitpick, you know, really just if you want to see the change, be the change with your actions instead of, because it's more than just apologies, it's about action too. It has to be really, you know, it has to be integrated with action and it really has to really, it starts with us, you know, and I'm just, I am speaking about myself too, because I'm holding myself accountable and I will continue to improve, you know, not being a stereotype as a black man, really be the best version of myself, honor my divine masculine, share my voice, speak in my voice, you know, because I'm not letting no one speak, um, sounds my voice. I'll be damned if anyone sounds my voice. If they do, they'll never, you know, never see me again. I'll just let, let them be, you know, just, you know, let them be do their own thing. I'm not gonna hurt them whatsoever. I'm just gonna leave them alone for good. Cause I'm letting no one silence my voice. I'll be damned if that silence no one silence my voice. And I'll be damned if I try to silence silence someone else's voice. You know. Ooh, damn. I went in on this video, and I might get some hate on this. You know, I'll I'll take the heat. You know, I'll be Thanos. I. Hey, I'll probably as well have an Infinity Gauntlet. I'll just I have purple skin and say I am inevitable, you know. But I'm not trying to make this a joke about this. I'm just saying I can take the heat. I can take criticism. I can take it to the chin. I'm tougher than I look. That's why people call me Herc, you know, most people. And yeah, but I still love you guys, as, especially my subscribers, followers, my readers who are on my live streams, who comment on my videos. I still love you guys, even the new people who jump on here too. And just, yeah, I think that's pretty much how I have to say about this topic. Um, got just a lot of stuff off my chest. And I wasn't sure I was going to do another, some live streams. I, I probably will too, just to really, um, you know, just to continue to support the peeps, you know. I always love to get peep, tell people out, entertain them, educate them at the same time too, or even et cetera, et cetera, with my, my personal channel too. And even on my community channel, Blissful Heroes, it's in the works, just doing some ceremonies, healing ceremonies, really planning that out too, not rushing anything. But I really want to address how important it is for people to just give them a voice, especially, especially uh, you know, people of color, you know, if you're a black man, or black woman, if you're straight, gay, white, Asian, you name it, every voice matters, you know, and we're all unique beings on this planet Earth. We should cherish our planet, help a tree, pet our plant, uh, plant some stuff, pet our, honoring our pets, loving our families, giving them a big hug. Loving our spouses, give them some loving, rough bedtime sparring if we need to, too. You know, and just like, you know, be the change that we could want to see in this planet, in this world, too. Because, you know, like Michael Jackson said, kids are the future. And, you know, I am doing my best to really, you know, build that future for kids, to, to especially for kids I have someday, too, if I have any kids, and even my niece, too see a beautiful, more beautiful world where she has an opportunity to be herself, to honor herself as a black woman and as, you know, a mixed woman too. You know, I'm not trying to speak for my niece too. I'm just really just trying to make a point here, you know, cause I'm, I'm her uncle and I'm totally proud of her. And yeah, even though I'm kind of contradicting myself and speaking for someone like my niece and I'll admit that too, and just, yeah, I um, think I got some stuff off my chest, you know, but I really, you know, I just want to say it again, I did not bash anyone whatsoever, I just really want to address how important it is to really, you know, uh, to give people a voice, and as a black man, and, um, in America too. I'm proud of where I am. I'm proud of who I, I've become, what I look like, you know, where I'm going in my journey. And I always will give people a voice to speak their truth, you know, 
and to really just get make make their voices be heard, you know. And I'll continue to do that and if I have a million subscribers, you know. And so that's all, you know. And may we continue to creatively grow their own lifestyles that not only benefit us as human beings, but loved ones in our environment. And if you guys, you know, want to bring me the heat, so beat it. I totally understand that too. I just had to really get some stuff off my chest. And I just have to really address how important it is to really just uh, make the uh, uh, important it is to content creators to make you know, give people a voice, whether they have twenty subscribers, or hundred, or a thousand, and you know, be accountable for our actions and be the change that we want to see. And, that, and it has to be more than just you know, no more apologies. It's had to be you know integrated with. You know other actions as well so that's all and i'm heading out i'm gonna get you some dinner you know I'm, i know i'll probably get some stuff about this video tomorrow and yeah so we did you know i'm brave enough to do it anyways much love to you guys my followers subscribers um and i'll see you guys around with more content for you guys to enjoy peace